friends welcome to bank exam cafe and in today's episode we are going to discuss chapter number 11 constructions exercise 11.1 friends for the examination 2021 from the exercise 11.1 only the question number 1 will be in the syllabus question number 2 question number 3 question number 4 question number 5 question number 6 and question number 7 are deleted from the syllabus i once repeat once again repeat that from the exercise 11.1 for the examination 2021 question number 1 will be in the syllabus and rest of the questions that is from question number 2 to question number 7 all the questions are deleted and now we will see the first question of exercise 11.1 i am not taking the same question which is in the exercise 11.1 but i am taking the different question so let us move to that question friends here is a question on the screen draw a line segment of length 7 cm and divide it in the ratio 2 is to 3 here you have to draw a line segment of 7 cm and then you have to divide it in the ratio of 2 is to 3 so first what you have to do you have to draw a line segment of 7 cm with the help of a scale but here i am not drawing a line segment of 7 cm but i will draw a line segment of more length more than 7 cm because 7 cm will not be clearly visible on the mobile so i take a distance more than 7 cm then friends name it as ab this is the line segment ab let it be of 7 cm then we have to draw a ray ax such that bax will be an acute angle so here friends with the help of scale don't do like me with the help of scale you have to draw a ray ax this is a ray ax so this point is x this point is x and this will be the angle bax so you have to draw a ray ax such that angle bax will be an acute angle now after that take five points on ray ax why five points because we have to divide the it in the ratio of 2 is to 3 since we have to divide it in the ratio of 2 is to 3 2 plus 3 will be 5 so we will take five points on the ray ax such that the distance between each successive point will be same so for that what we do we take a compass we take a compass put the pointer at ax at point a take suitable distance and then draw an arc draw an arc then keeping the same distance move this pointer to the point of intersection of the arc and the ray ax draw another arc then keeping same distance move it to this point and then draw next arc again move it to the next point of intersection keeping the same distance draw an arc and once again move it to the next point of intersection and draw fifth arc so here you get this points first point second point third point fourth point and fifth point at equal distances name it as a1 name it as a1 this as a2 this point as a3 this point as a4 and this point of intersection as a5 so here a a1 is equal to a1 a2 
is equal to a2 a3 is equal to a3 a4 is equal to a4 a5. Now you have to join this a5 and b with the help of a scale. Don't do like that. My line will be a straight line because I am using a software. So you have to use a scale and with the help of scale you can do that. Join a5 join a5 to b. So here you are joining a5 to b. Now next what you have to do you have to draw a parallel line from a2 point to the a5 b line segment. From this point a2 draw a line such that it will be parallel to a5 b. So from a2 point how to draw a line segment that will be parallel to a5 b. Now to draw a parallel line first take the compass compass and put the pointer here at point A5 and then draw an arc intersecting the A5B line and the AX3 like this. Then take the compass without changing the distance keep it at point A2 because we have to divide a line segment into 2 is to 3 ratio so this will be the two parts first part second part and this will be the three parts and we will divide it in the ratio 2 is to 3 so since it is two parts so we will take the compass pointer at the point A2 and then draw an arc intersecting this AX ray take this is little bit longer. Now after that take this compass and put the pointer at the point of intersection of this red arc and the AX ray. And then take a distance between the two points like this okay then move this to this point of intersection and draw an arc Sorry, it is moved. I again check the distance. Yes, now take this distance and then draw an arc intersecting the previous arc. Now that's enough. And now with the help of pencil a uh, scale, join A2 and this point of intersection draw a line passing through A2 and this point of intersection. So here from A2 draw a line segment with the help of scale and this point of intersection. It will meet AB at one point let that point be P. Let that point be And so AP and PB are the two parts of the line segment AB which are in the ratio 2 is to 3. So friends this is the way you can divide a given line segment in the ratio of 2 is to 3 or 3 is to 2 or 5 is to 2 likewise. So 